let us get started on how to use the Pro360 Touchless Cleaner. Let's look at the unit components. Hold the power button for three and a half seconds to turn on or off. The counter light glows green for a full solvent canister. It turns yellow at 1600 cleans and then red at 2100 cleans to indicate it is time to replace the solvent canister. The battery indicator light glows green when charged to more than 9.5 volts. It turns yellow between 8 and 9.5 volts, then red at less than 8 volts. At red, it's time to recharge the battery, as the unit will not function. The device can switch to operate with AC line power, which will also recharge the battery. The handset stores within the carry handle. Two cleaning tips are included. The tips clean both male patch cords and female bulkhead connectors to save you time. The shoulder strap can be added or removed with easy-to-use snap connections. For a quick start, install the solvent canister and then press and hold the power button for 3.5 seconds. The powering up sound is the solvent being primed to the spray nozzle and ready to clean. We are cleaning an SC connector bulkhead and patch cord. With the proper size cleaning tip mounted on the handset, position the cleaning tip inside the bulkhead. Slightly push against the connector to start the cleaning cycle. Relax your hand, airflow will start, and the handset LED light will flash. Keep the handset in place for the entire 3.8 second cleaning cycle. When the flashing LED and sound stop, you can remove the cleaning tip from the bulkhead. The connector in the bulkhead is now clean and dry. Repeat the process for the male end patch cord. Inspect with your favorite scope, then connect. We recommend cleaning the bulkhead first, then patch cord, as a best practice. The Versatile Pro360 has the shoulder strap for portable battery-powered field use, or the unit can be AC-powered for in-house cable testing and assembly for higher cleaning volumes. For workbench convenience, place the handset in the handle cradle which protects the cleaning tips from accidental bumps and damage. Make sure the metal protective hose jacket has enough play and avoid a tightly bent radius. The included 1.25mm and 2.5mm cleaning tips are easily changed. Hand tighten them over the metal spray nozzle until just snug. To remove the battery pack from the Pro360, position the device upside down on a flat surface. Loosen the battery tray mounting screw using your fingers. Grab the battery tray by the square end and pull up. The mounting screw stays conveniently attached to the tray. Reverse the process to replace the battery tray. For the best results and to maintain your warranty, use only the Pro360 solvent canister with your cleaning device. It is non-hazardous, non-flammable, and non-pressurized, so it ships by all modes of transport as non-hazardous, even for air travel. The solvent canister is hermetically sealed for purity, and it is unidirectional, so there is no top or bottom when installing. To install the solvent canister, loosen the bridge thumb dial and rotate the bridge to one side. Position and insert either end of the solvent canister into the docking cavity. The canister is properly positioned when the metal clip springs back over the canister edge. Rotate the bridge's brass fixture back over the canister valve. Slightly push the bridge onto the canister valve while hand tightening the thumb dial until secure. Do not over tighten. Replace the battery tray. To remove the solvent canister, loosen the bridge thumb dial and rotate the bridge to one side. Push the metal spring clip off the canister edge while pulling the empty canister up and out. Insert a new solvent canister and replace the battery tray. The air filter functions to remove particulate larger than 0.2 micron size from the compressed air lines. A filter is included with each 12 canister case of solvent. In normal use, replace the filter after a solvent case is used, over 25,000 cleaning cycles. In heavy dust environments such as construction areas, more frequent replacement may be needed. To change the filter, turn the device upside down, loosen the thumb screw and remove the battery tray. Squeeze the filter tabs inward and lift. If snug, use your fingernail in the crease to break the seal and lift. Insert a new filter in the same cavity and push until it clicks in place. 